What's up, YouTube? Georgia Silver Hunter back, and I'm back. It's been honestly a bit too long since I've been back, and uh, what you see in front of you here is $500 worth of customer wrapped quarters from one of my local Wells Fargo's. I've been sitting on this box for about two and a half weeks. I just haven't had a time to do a lot of hunting lately. A lot going on with the family, a lot going on with sports and activities. We just celebrated my wife's big 50th birthday, and uh, I just haven't had time between all the planning and family uh, family things that I have to do. So with that, I, I'm back to having a little bit of time, and I wanted to get into these quarters. So uh, we're going to look through these things for silver, airs, all kinds of dye chips, San Francisco proofs, and uh, business strikes. We'll be looking for anything odd, interesting, or valuable. So let's jump into it. So before I jump into this first roll, I did want to call out a couple of things. If you are new to coin roll hunting, you are going to need a few things that are going to help you in your hunts. Uh, I do have a document in the description down below this video that has a checklist of everything that I hunt for, whether we're looking at pennies, dimes, nickels, quarters, halves, dollars, you name it, it's in there. But if you're somebody who prefers books, I do have some uh, Amazon links in the description down below. The uh, book that everybody should have a copy of, at least within the last year or two, is the United States red book. And this is a great book because it does include pictures, uh, a price guide, and a lot of other really, really good information for coins all the way back to early, early colonial times, all the way up to modern gold and silver bullion. So this is a fantastic book. If you don't have it, I do highly recommend it. And if you're somebody who likes to have a search list with pictures, the Strike It Rich book with pocket change here, Strike It Rich with pocket change is a fantastic book. So I'll just flip through here, I think, to the uh, quarters. I got to go a little bit further here. Uh, those are half dollars, but in here you can see our quarters. We've got everything up through the 2020s, the W's. Uh, we've got the earring variant here, the pierced ear on the 2019. So lots of really good coins you could be looking for, and this is a great resource. Again, Amazon affiliate link in the description down below if you need something like that. But my checklist is usually enough for most people. So uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and just pop maybe couple three rolls out here in front of you guys or on camera just to edge hunt for some silver or anything that looks odd or interesting and uh, I will go back through these and look at the face and the reverse of every single coin because we have a whole lot of varieties that we're going to look for in this hunt um, the most valuable things we could find though will be silver and our 2019 and 2020 W uh, West Point minted quarters. Uh, those guys are worth quite a bit of money. The other thing, and I need to do a, a, a video on this. One of my viewers did send me a full crown error uh, that is a gorgeous, gorgeous coin. Uh, and it's on the 2021 Philadelphia crossing the Delaware. And he was gracious enough to send me one. And it's just gorgeous. And I haven't uh, just haven't had time to do videos. So I need to do a little thank you video for that and show that coin off because it is absolutely gorgeous. All right. Well, I'm not seeing any silver in these. I'm going to start going through them. And as I find those errors and varieties, I will bring you in and we will take a look at each of those coins and we'll do a value of what I find in the wrap up. We're still getting through those first three rolls. We're on roll number two, about, I would say, uh, maybe halfway through. And we've come across one of the 2021, I'm sorry, 2022 Philadelphia man killer quarters look like we had a little die chip there. It's uh, actually just a scratch 2022 Philly. This one has a lot of different errors you can look for and this one has got this little die chip down in the hair You can see it just under this magnification, but I'll put it under the scope so you can see it a little bit better Right here in this channel of her hair There's a big hunk of extra metal that's there. That's not supposed to be there We find these things all the time and they're still worth a couple of bucks today if you can find a buyer on eBay. Now, there's a big die chip on the top of her head you can look for. There's one where it comes out of this part up here. The one you're really looking for, though, is a big giant die, not even a die crack, it's a, a cracked planchet. It starts about at the T and goes through the top of George's head and comes over here to about the eye. I've only found one of those ever, and I got about 280, 300 bucks for it on eBay. So it's a modern coin worth a lot of money if you can find one. But this one's worth just a couple of bucks. So we're still getting through roll two, and we've come across another coin that I have to point out. This is, uh, I was mentioning that full crown error at the beginning of this video, and it made me actually go out to the car and get it, because I call this the half crown error, because that's kind of what it is. I think if you look it up on eBay and look for half crown 
2021 crossing the Delaware. This is what you're going to find. Uh, 2021 Philadelphia right there. We've got a little bit of damage on it, but it's still in decent shape. Still good luster on it. But you see that huge die chip here on top of Washington's head. And I'm going to back out on the scope. You can see that die chip comes from the top of his hat almost halfway across. Now, normally you just get a little chip here or a little chip here, you know, or maybe a medium sized chip here, but this is a big one. This one's going to go for a couple uh, extra dollars and I'll see if I can find an exact duplicate of this on eBay by the end of the video. Uh, but this is pretty cool. This is the size of the die chip you want to find uh, more than the little ones. However, Again, as I said in the beginning of the video, Andrew, a uh, viewer of the channel, sent me this in the mail the other day. I probably got it a couple of weeks ago now, maybe three, four weeks ago now, two, three weeks ago. And this is the full crown error. Just to show you guys what that looks like. Look at the size of that die chip. Now, Andrew, I will do a separate video on this, but since I found the half crown, I just had to show this off. This is a gorgeous coin. Uh, it's in great shape. He sent this to me at no charge, which I'm super happy about. I don't have one for my collection, but you can see just how big that die chip is. And again, when I get into all the full actual values at the end of the video, I'm going to cover this as well. I want to say this is still kind of between a $50 and $80 coin on eBay if it's in good condition. I don't recall what this is because it's been a long time since I've looked it up, but I'm happy to have both coins at this phase or at this stage. So thank you, Andrew, for the coin you sent. And thank you, Box, for this half crown error. So we've got rolls 16 through 20 open. And actually, we're all the way up on roll. I think this is 18, 19, and 20. And I've stopped here. As you can see, we've gone through quite a bit of them. But the coin I want to show you is actually already under the scope. And we have found ourselves one of the 2015 Philadelphia homestead double die reverses here in the window you'll see we've got a little bit of doubling right here it's not present in any of the other windows now this won't be a very high dollar variety and uh, i'll jump over to the computer and show you variety vista where you can find all the various varieties for this coin and as i said earlier i'll do a uh, little bit of value in the wrap up but this is another find for the board so I've gone ahead and pulled up Variety Vista here. It is a great online tool if you're new to coin roll hunting or even if you're a seasoned pro for looking up uh, the various varieties there are on U.S. coinage. And you can see here they have everything from Lincoln cents from 1909 to so your wheat pennies all the way up to the more recent golden uh, Sacagawea dollars. So uh, for this, I just wanted to show you that one quarter and we're going to drill into the America the Beautiful quarters. And it is a DDR double die reverse. And we can come down here into the 2015 Nebraska. And you'll see here, we've got every single variety that this website uh, has recognized available uh, for you to peruse through and find pictures that look like your coins. Now, I've already looked over here and the one closest to the one I have is I believe the DDR09. So you'll see here, there's an 18 that has a real similar doubling here, but you've also got a little doubling in the pump that I don't have. So the nine looks very much like what I have. And if you just want to get a closer look, you can come in and it'll have other markers that you can look for. But this one's close enough for me. And there are so many versions of this double die reverse that even if it's not, it's okay. But if you want to uh, kind of help yourself identify these things, it's a great website because you get close-ups of all the images. It tells you where to look. Uh, and so on and so forth. And I've, I've mentioned that there's a lot of double die reverses for this coin. And you'll see this is, you know, just listing one through 21, but here's 22 through 42. There's a bunch. There's 43 through 63, up through uh, 107 they've recognized so far on this website. And each one is just a little bit different. We just popped into roll number 26, and I'm bringing you in here for one of the newer little die chip errors you can keep uh, an eye out for. This is the 2023 Philadelphia Eleanor Roosevelt. And up here on her cap, there is a die chip that's pretty easy to find. This is one of the smaller ones. And uh, while I have you in here, I'll talk about a die crack that you can find pretty easily as well. But uh, let's look at this under the scope. So right here, there's a little hunk of metal. Now that piece of metal can be pretty big, it can be pretty tiny, but it's always gonna end up in this general location on Eleanor's hat. Now, the other thing you wanna keep an eye out for is there's a big die crack that starts up here at the rim of the coin and will work its way down through her hat. 
and in the more extreme cases, will actually curve down and go through her head. Um, now, I've found a whole bunch of those in the past, not one on, on this coin, uh, as you can see, but we definitely have this little die chip, so we'll definitely set this aside. So same roll, just a handful of coins later, we've come across our next find, and this is a pretty decent looking 2021 Philly. Now, it looks like we've maybe got a little grease in this die, but uh, 2021 Philly, uh, we've got the little double die reverse here down in the cuff of George Washington. Let's have a look at it under the scope to point it out for you. There it is right there. I got it just so in the light. You can see right here, we've got a little doubling there on the cuff. It's pretty minor. Now this particular double die reverse will present a couple of different ways. Uh, a lot of times it'll be a little bit thicker than this, but I uh, just wanted to point this one out. And again, if we can find a value for this on eBay, we'll bring it in at the end of the video. Well, I was opening up the next three rolls to lay them out so I could go through them. And uh, we did get one coin that looked a little bit like a metal detector find. It's all black here, 1972. Nothing special, but I did notice it unwrapping it. Uh, and it wasn't going to be special enough for me to bring you in. But getting into roll number 29, we did come across a roll that had one thing in it that did not look like the others or look like the rest of the coins. And he's right there. You can see super thick edge. Super gray, silvery looking, but we know from the reading that it is not a silver quarter. Uh, it's much tighter and a much thicker coin. So let's see what we got. Whatever it is, it's a 1995. Some sort of bird on the back. We've got a 25 cent 1995 coin from, let's see, looks like Bermuda here with Queen Elizabeth II on it. Probably clad or... Uh, uh, some sort of steel, nickel clad, something like that. But uh, we'll put it on the board. First foreign of the hunt. So we've got rolls 31, 2, and 3 out. And we're kind of halfway through roll number 31. And we've come across our next find. Uh, we've already done the uh, Homestead Quarter earlier. This one's a little bit different, though. And you can see it without going under the scope. But we have a snow on the roof uh, error here. It's a die chip error where we get a little bit of metal left behind. It can present itself, also known as the snow on the roof, up on the top of the roof. Uh, the more expensive ones go from the left side all the way up to the top and all the way down the other side of the roof. Uh, there's also the leaky bucket where you'll get a big die chip there on the bottom of the bucket. But uh, this one, it's up there on the roof. I'll put it under the scope just for you so you can see it a little bit better. And it is right there. There's that little hunk of metal. So... We've got another little variety from the Homestead Quarter. So we just got roll number 39 out of the wrap here. And again, we've got something silvery, but again, not going to be actual silver. It's too small and the reading is too close together. So we've got a four in here. Looks like a 1987, I'm going to guess one franc there from the uh, back. And it is from... Well, it says Helvetia. Not exactly sure where, what Helvetia is, but uh, it is definitely not U.S. So I went ahead and rolled out roll 40 as well, but getting through roll 39 after taking that foreign out, um, it was the coin was right here, but I already put it under the scope for you. We've got another homestead, and I mentioned it in the earlier clip. This time, we've got snow on the roof. Now, this is going to be a very minor snow on the roof because we've got just a little itty-bitty die chip right here. And as I said before, the vet more valuable ones will have snow going down both ends of the roof and there'll be a whole lot of it. But I uh, just wanted to show you this one since we found it. Well, you guys, we've reached the end of our hunt. As you can see, I've got my state quarter book up here and it's because we got a couple of upgrades in this hunt and I'll cover those here in just a second. But I did want to walk you through all of our finds and we're going to start all the way down here with a few things that I know I didn't bring you in for, but we did get a misstuffed roll with a 2013 Philadelphia in it. We had a misstuffed roll with a 2016 Denver nickel in it, so we lost a little money on those rolls. We did get a 1987 one franc piece, and this is 75% uh, copper, so it's a copper nickel clad coin. Uh, one franc, um, if I recall, not worth a whole lot of money, but uh, still kind of cool to find here in the U.S., and of course, we've got this Bermuda 25 cent piece from 1995, also not worth all that much. Uh, again, copper clad coin there. 
Now, when we get to our errors, um, I'm going to take you through here and we'll talk about pricing and I'll put the price in the upper right hand corner just so you guys can see it. Maybe we'll keep track of a general total, but we've got our 2023 Philadelphia Eleanor Roosevelt here. She's got that little tiny die chip up here on the hat. I checked eBay. That's going for about $3.50. Uh, for a nice quality coin like this one, if you can find a buyer. Now, one like this did sell in February for $3.50 with free shipping. You know, your mileage is going to vary. You might not be able to sell it. You might only get a dollar or two. But uh, I was able to find a comp at that range. Now, we have a bunch of, or at least three, of our Homestead uh, quarters. And this is the easiest one to find, or these are the, this is the easiest quarter to find issues on. I brought you in for, I believe, all of them, but did want to cover values. So with this guy right here, um, let's put him under the scope just to see real quick. And forgive me because I had zoomed out here. Let's get zoomed back in. I believe this was the DDR. This was the DDR 0, uh, let's see here, zero, zero, 009. And uh, I couldn't find one that looked just like this, but the closest I could get was about a dollar. These DDRs are kind of a dime a dozen. There's over a hundred identified DDRs in those windows. So not a too, super valuable coin, but it is something fun to look out for in your hunts. Now, the next one I believe was the snow on the roof. As you can see, I found one just like this on eBay. And this is a really nice looking quarter. At least the back, it's got nice luster. We got a little bit of, of, of trouble with it, but the back is just gorgeous. Um, one like this sold on eBay for uh, $2 with free shipping. So not bad for a quarter. And the last one, we had a uh, little snow on the window. And I did look for something like this. Uh, the only one I found, not only did it have snow on the window, it had snow on the roof, and it might have even had a little bit of leaky bucket on it. So it had a lot of problems, and it sold for 3 or $4. Um, with just the snow on the roof, I am thinking this is more like a dollar coin as well. And it's not in the best of shape, at least the front. For some reason, the, the obverse of these things are pretty pretty uh, beat up, but the reverses look really, really nice. Now, we're crossing the Delaware. The one I got the most excited about, of course, is this half crown error. That is a huge die chip up here. Now, that is this is by far the most valuable coin in this hunt. Found a recent coin selling uh, for about 18 bucks with free shipping. Now, some were as low as 13, 14, 15, but they had shipping built in. Um, you know, the ones I found that were 17, 18 around there, they were free shipping. So I think 18 bucks is a fair price on something like this, and it's a decent looking quarter. So that's something I'm definitely going to flip up and hang on to. Uh, the other ones were the same DDR. I actually found three of them in this hunt, and they've got that little tiny minor DDR on the cuff of uh, George's arm there. And I'll see if I can get it to show up again here for you. There it is right here. This tiny little extra notch. That's all we're talking about. And on eBay, those things were only going for, uh, I say only going for, I couldn't find any sold listings, at least in the last month or two or three. There was a couple for sale for $10 or best offer. So Perhaps you could get a pretty penny for these right now because I just didn't see a lot of them online. So if you tried to get rid of yours for four or five bucks, maybe you could sell yours. I'll, I have a tube already started for these, so I'll just add that to the tube. And of course, our Wilma Man Killer with the dye chip in the hair. You're going to find one of these in almost every box you hunt. Uh, surprisingly, these things are still going for like a buck twenty-five to about three bucks today if it's a decent quality coin and you can find a buyer, but they are still actively selling. Now, over here, you'll see I did find a bunch of Bicentennial Denvers. I found three Bicentennial Phillies. I did check all the Denvers for that coveted DDO or double die obverse. That is a really valuable coin or a fairly valuable coin, and I have never found one, so I'm always on the hunt for that. Uh, this is kind of one of the nicer ones. There's a couple of decent ones in there I'll hang on to because I do create tubes of these. The rest will go back. And then, as I mentioned, for my state quarter book, which I'm not going to show point, uh, pushing these down because... The video is long enough as it is, but we found a really decent um, 2009 Duke Ellington, and uh, I was really hoping to find the DDR, the error coin on this. Uh, it shows up down here in the piano keys. That's actually a fairly valuable coin, and it's called out in the Strike It Rich with Pocket Change Guide, but this is a lot nicer than the coin I have in my book. We also found a 2000 South Carolina and a 1999 Georgia that look really nice, so those are all upgrades for the book. 
So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Like I said, the total for all this, um, if I were to sell it all on eBay and it were to actually sell and I get what I say I'm, I could potentially get for it, you'll see what this little hunt was worth in fines. And it's up to you to decide if you're a quarter hunter, are these the kinds of things you want to look for or is it not worth your time? Uh, I can tell you for quarters, if you're only hunting for sil silver, you're going to go through lots and lots of boxes. Last year, I think I only found like four, maybe six, maybe eight silver quarters all year long. So silver quarters can be pretty tough to come by. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, let me know. Drop on down below. Leave me a comment. While you're down there, click that like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you click on that little bell. Uh, I'm sorry. Make sure you click on that subscribe button and then click on that little bell and select all so you get notified each and every time I do release a new video. Special shout out to all my channel members. Apologies for not getting more content out lately. I've just been super, super busy. Uh, and, you know, life takes precedence, unfortunately, over the YouTube channel. But uh, I'm hoping to get back into the swing of things here, at least for the next month or so. So uh, with that, I hope you guys are doing well. Take care. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.